given that A plus B plus C equals one. A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals two. A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed equals three. Find the value of ABC. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. There are three variables and three equations. Solving these equations is possible. As the question is to find the product of the three variables, finding the value of each variable might not be necessary. And it might not be an easy task. The set of equations contain linear, quadratic, and cubic terms. Solving these equations seems not easy. As we just want to calculate the value of ABC and A plus B plus C or cubed contains the term ABC. So expanding A plus B plus C or cubed might be a starting point to solving the problem because A plus B plus C or cubed equals A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed plus three A squared B plus three A B squared plus three A squared C plus three B squared C plus three A C squared plus three B C squared plus six A B C. Now we group terms which contain A B, B C or C A. Note that ABC 
contains AB, BC, CA. The first three terms, A cubed, B cubed, C cubed, remain. Now, look at the fourth and fifth terms, which are 3a squared b and 3ab squared. These two terms have a common factor of 3ab. The final term, 6abc, also has the factor 3ab. We can write 6abc as 3abc plus 3abc. We can write one of these 3abcs after the fourth and fifth terms. So we have 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus 3abc. Similarly, the terms 3b squared c and 3bc squared have a common factor of 3bc. The remaining 3abc term also has a factor 3bc. So we can write 3abc after the terms 3b squared c plus 3bc squared. Next, we look at the terms 3a squared c and 3a c squared. These two terms have a common factor of 3ac. The term 3abc also has a factor of 3ac. As there are no more 3abc terms, so in order to write 3abc after the two terms, 3a squared c plus 3ac squared. We write 3a squared c plus 3ac squared plus 3abc minus 3abc. Again, the cubic terms remain. The next three terms, which have been underlined in red, can be written as one term, as they have a common factor of 3ab. So we can write 3ab times a plus b plus c. Similarly, the next three terms, which have been underlined in blue, can be written as one term, 3bc times a plus b plus c, as they have a common factor of 3bc. And the next three terms, which have been underlined in yellow and also be written as one term, 3CA times A plus B plus C, as they have a common factor of 3CA. And the final term here is minus 
3 ABC. So by rearranging the equation, we have 3 ABC equals A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed plus 3 AB times A plus B plus C plus 3 BC times A plus B plus C plus 3 CA times A plus B plus C minus A plus B plus C or cubed. The cubic terms remain. The next three terms have a common factor of three times A plus B plus C. So we can write these three terms as one term, that is three times A plus B plus C times AB plus BC plus CA minus A plus B plus C all cubed. We know that A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed equals three as we were given this in the question. And we know that A plus B plus C equals one, which was also given in the question by substituting in these values, we can write three plus three times one times AB plus BC plus CA minus one cubed. Simplifying this, we have two plus three times AB plus BC plus CA. So three ABC equals two plus three times AB plus BC plus CA. Because A plus B plus C all squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus 2AB plus 2BC plus 2CA. So by rearranging the equation and dividing by two, we have AB plus BC plus CA equals a half times A plus B plus C all squared minus A squared plus B squared plus C squared. We know that A plus B plus C equals one A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals two 
so we can write a half times one squared minus two, which is equal to minus a half substitute two in one. We then have three ABC equals two plus three times AB plus BC plus CA equals two plus three times minus a half, which is equal to a half. So ABC equals a half times a third equals one over six. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one, given that Real numbers A, B, C satisfy A squared plus four times B squared plus one equals five times 2AB minus 1. Find B times A plus 1 over A. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. If you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.